Welcome to learning now KCB Sub Engineering Quick Revision Series. Le, naalamatte video aana. Inda namlla share cheyena the QRS Force. So namlle inda the ten questions se the kya nala Question number one. Eddy current damping is more used in measuring instrument of option A. Induction type. Option B. Permanent magnet moving coil type. Option C. Moving iron type. Option D. None of them. So eddy current damping namlla use either type of measuring instrument question and it is for permanent magnet moving coil type pmmc type we use pmmc instrument is ac main measure the average value is scale linear so eddy current damping is more used in measuring instrument of permanent magnet moving coil type option b is the correct answer Question number two, instruments having dash are primarily responsible for loading effect. Loading effect is another uh, type of instrument. Uh, instrument having higher resistance, ano, high sensitivity, ano, low sensitivity, ano, high range. Ano, ano, so it is low sensitivity. Instruments having low sensitivity are primarily responsible for loading effect. Option C is the correct answer. Question number three, the difference between the measured value and true value. Measured value, true value, the difference in the difference. Gross error, relative error, probable error, and absolute error. And the correct answer is option D, the difference between measured value and true value is called absolute error. Question number four, gearing, backlash, friction between moving parts and scale accuracies are generally known as instrumental errors, option B, interference errors, option C, calibration errors and option D, interaction errors. So, that is gearing, backlash, friction uh, between moving parts and scale accuracies. This is instrumental errors. Okay, the instrumental errors one it refers to the error of a measuring instrument or the difference between the actual value and the value indicated by the instrument. Okay, uh, that is backlash, other uh, friction between moving parts, the scale accuracy, see the alarm, that instrumental error, uh, option A is the correct answer. Question number five, standardization of potentiometer is done in order that they become accurate, precise, accurate and direct reading, accurate and precise. So by standardization of potentiometer, they became accurate and direct reading. Option C is the correct answer. Question number six, the stroboscope. The stroboscope is used to measure in the random displacement, ano, pressure, ano, speed, ano, temperature. Ano. Stroboscope is used to measure speed. Option C is the correct answer. Question number seven, the ratio of output change for a given measuring system is referred to as the ratio of output change for a given Measuring system. Sensitivity, linearity, stability, fidelity. It is sensitivity. Option A is the correct answer. The ratio of output change for a given measuring system is referred to as sensitivity. Stability is the ability of an instrument to maintain a certain physical property at a constant value. Stability is the linearity. For every changing variable we are observing, that is, we can get the same change in the output. Okay, that is, we observe the variable the change in the output. That is, we output the output in the output. That is, linear relationship. That is, we have linearity. So, here we have the correct answer is sensitivity option. Question number 8. Which of the following constitute the most important specification of an instrument? Or instrument is a term important at the specification is the resolution, reproducibility, range and sensitivity. A term important at the specification it is range. Option C is the correct answer. And the range is the maximum value and minimum value and the measure is the term important at the value. Question number 9, the largest change in the measured variable which produces no instrument response is called, it is called as dead band. Okay, the largest change in the measured variable which produces no instrument response is called as dead band. Option A is the correct answer. And the last question of QRS4, the correct statement about electrodynamometer instrument among the following is, its scale is linear, it measures only DC, it is transfer instrument, it Sensitivity is lesser than MI type instruments. So, electrodynamometer 
and the atom correct title statement is it is a transfer instrument because it is linear and non-linear and it is a DC measure or AC and DC measure so option C is the correct answer so QRS 4 will be able to discuss the questions in the previous question series we will discuss the questions in the daily 10 questions so all the videos will be able to discuss all the best thank you